Attitude. Some of us know what that means and some of us just scratch our heads and say, next. You know, we live in a world where technology has taken over and gratitude and appreciation has gone over our ears. We're not really to function or give thanks to where we came from. We're just so interested in our own self, basically complaining and wondering how we're gonna get the next bigger house, nicer car, and that fancy job. We're just in a mindset that we don't really appreciate or have any gratitude towards our past. We just complain about our jobs getting on, our bosses getting on our cases, our spouses just becoming irate at us, and just not content in life just for the sake of it. But you really have to dig deep in this situation and see what is gratitude to you, what, what defines you as a human being. Is, is it that big house? Is it that six, six figure salary? Or is it just a peace of mind of nirvana that you're seeking? Some of us just want everything in the world. You name it. But I want to give you a little story how I actually found gratitude within myself. I'm just like a human being just like you. I complain as well. I feel things are not sufficient in my life at times that I sometimes complain a bitch just like you. So what happened was a couple days ago I was going towards work to the west side and I took the side street. I figured it will be less traffic. So while going to the side street I actually drove around my neighborhood where I used to live, some of the areas, some of the poorest neighborhoods, some of the hoods as well. I talk about like Rampart District, going there by Rampart and Third. I'm also checking out the neighborhoods around Vermont Third and Normandy and Third where I went to school and also just lived there for many, many years. So while I was driving to those neighborhoods, I, I noticed that a lot of stores were closed. Some of the restaurants I used to eat, fast food joints used to go there are still open. And I noticed the people there were not as progressive as, as I thought it was, as I thought it were. They were still struggling. They were still not living the life what I thought they would be. And it just gave me an understanding how gratitude and appreciation of how my life is and, and why we complain so much while, while these people are still not really being sufficient in life. And, and, but they still have a smile on their face and that pretty much gave me the gratitude that I'm looking for. Despite the, their living condition, despite the e economic challenges, and if you go there, you'll, you'll pretty much know what I'm talking about. It just gave me a whole whole level of appreciation in, in my life instead of just complaining about every nits and, and bits of it. I mean, you gotta question yourself, how is your health, gratitude about your, your well-being and much more. And I, I challenge any of you guys to, to go to the neighborhoods where you grew up, the hood where you grew up, after work or whatever, and drive around there and you'll see a sense of gratitude within yourself. You'll see how content you will be and all this complaining and bitching will pretty much dissipate from your mindset. And also I want you to reach out to those people, the, your cousins that are still struggling in the hood and pay a visit to them and, and see how you can actually give them the success that they need. Be a mentor and take them to the same level as you are. Either something you can teach or preach that can enhance their life for the better. And while you do this, you're going to see how much appreciation you have in your life. You're not going to feel like you're in a rat race forever. And you're just going to take it to the next level. So those are some of my challenges to take and see where you can actually find gratitude within yourself. Learn more about inspiring your mind and how you can be more successful in life. I want you to check out my book. It's called Live For Your Dreams. It's on my website at www.inspireyourmind.com. Dot org and I think you guys will be very blissful. Well till then I want to thank you again for watching my show Inspire Your Mind and till then have a wonderful day. Peace.